Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of dice. Bill the dopamine. It is circadian dice. And speaking of, speaking of dice, we're gonna roll one off screen here. We're gonna roll a d8. Three. Three is going to be the elementalist who has ten stars. Okay. Uh, poor barbarian. Oh my god, needs so much help. Uh, but okay. So the elementalist. We've not done the bandit raid. Infested sewers, or yeah, or anything past that. We'll start with the infested sewers. We'll do the bandit raid at the end if there's like just a really small amount of time. Like we don't want to do one of the bigger, like because these ones are like the tougher ones do indeed take more time because you just got to pay more attention to it. Uh, elementalist, we do all kinds of damage with our spells. Very spell focused, not very defensive in that regard. Uh, double XP at night, one temporal gold when you roll a debuff face. These are all all right for the elementalist. None of them are like really speaking to me there. Beggar's rug. There's some people who say like, or are like, why aren't you taking the overpowered rug? Why aren't you taking the overpowered chest plate? The chest plate is overpowered for getting score. Like if your only goal is, is score, it's like really good, I think. Uh, like, other than that, it's good for money and everything, and, like, we probably could take it, should take it, everything, but, eh. Beggar's Rug, I think, is... I don't think, I don't think Beggar's Rug is as OP as, uh, as anticipated, though. I think it's good. I think it's good, but it's not amazing, you know? Like, the two random gems, we could maybe make use of that. Uh, we could take the adventuring kit and the chest plate, those two things together is a little bit more, a little bit better. Uh, a shield on our third gem. I don't know. I'm not, I'm actually like kind of at a loss for what I want to do. So I will just, I'll just do it. I'll just do that. If we overkill, if we overkill an enemy, then we will spawn a chest. So yeah, he's going to spawn a chest anyways. So that makes that pretty easy. Bup, bup, bup. Blast him. I don't know. Should we be spending all this stuff here? So we actually, we got a bunch of gems out of there. Uh, that is, I will admit that is something that I did forget about, uh, about the chests is that they can drop gems. The magic attack on the same die as a red gem is really exciting. But... Where would we put it? Where would we put it? There's a lot of good stuff, but where would we put it? I wish the hearts didn't drop onto this one here. I guess I would replace like a... I guess I replace a coin and a regular sword. Sure. All right. Uh, and then let's just... Uh, we'll do a little farming here. A little bit of farming there. Um, the trap and the re-rollable blue gem. Add one piercing attack to each petrified die face. That is something we could do. That's that's not bad. We could get ourselves all petrified up. Sure. Let's try and try and get him to uh, to to petrify us here. I guess deal one damage to target enemy for each red gem you have. One life for each white gem. Maybe. We got a couple turns here to do this. Are we letting him attack us? I guess so. Because I'm trying to capture. We have the ability to kill via that. All right. Disappointment. I wanted to spawn the chest. All right. That was disappointing. Oh well. Maybe we can capture something on the next one. Uh, we've got the piercing attacks there. Piercing attack and a coin piercing attack certainly better than two basic attacks don't mind if I do don't mind if I did okay I kind of want to I, I don't know is it silly yeah a little bit but I kind of want to petrify myself I want to get myself a little petrified first is that so bad what do you mean it is? Yes, totally. What do you mean 100%? Yes, it is very bad to just petrify myself for the sake of it. 
Uh, two turns left. Just go. I'm just trying to go ham. Just trying to get funny big number. All right. It's not looking like it's going to happen, though. I think we've... Uh, yeah, we beefed it a little bit there. So could we do this? We could... This is piercing if we make, make it magic. So we could go... If I'm willing to spend all the gems, which I am, we can do this to get a lot of money. One damage target for each red gem you have. All right, there we go. So it's, it's a lot of money. It's a it's a big old chunk of change. I think we might be okay. We still have one more, and there's two of them. To each petrified die face. It's it's just all of them. It's not just one. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'm actually going to go for that. Sure thing, sure thing, sure thing, sure thing. Alright, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wanting to capture one now. Uh, and then, now we're, yeah, we're not going to, ooh, we're not going to get it, are we? an easy choice there. Come on. Come on. We have two captures. Come on now. We got two of these. There we go. Good old chunk of Pearson there for us. Uh let's 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 wait a little bit. Let's icicle this. We'll do our stalling. Uh, we're obviously gonna want to replace that empty with something. Part of me wants to go for this one. Yeah, let's do it. Because we can get this opened up here for ourselves. I would adore if we could get the capture. All right. That's good. That's by far, that is good enough for me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue with that there. Okay. So we have, we have an empty to replace here. Don't care about white gems. Honestly, I don't really care about red gems either anymore. Uh, I don't really care about the wild either. So yeah, I kind of think we can go for this, and it's no big deal. Um, huh. Should I use my last fireball? Probably not. But I'm gonna. Because we need to start keeping these. We need to start keeping our piercing dies. 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 <laughs> dice. Dice. Dices. Dowson. I should have probably kept that one too. Don't care about the health right now. I want to just get big number. Okay, open that up. We got two turns left. This is actually really tight. Um, shoot. Uh, well, we can't overkill these golems, anyways. I feel like we're just gonna have to say that that's okay for now because I don't want to. Didn't want to chance it any further. pretty bad but at least we do get to block those double attack boys Oof. does this do one so you would block that anyways it just doesn't matter so uh, there's also no reason to charge this up then huh we have lots of HP and shields, like, around here. Oof. So it's not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It is, it is a piercing attack. Let's do that, do that, do that. I'll, I'll happily... I'll just take the damage for now. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um... Wild gems are relatively 
unimportant. Uh, the gems are relatively unimportant. I'll take a free restock, see what we can get. Now that, that is, that is good. That is a good one. Um, sure. Place that, two birds, one scone. Yeah, we, we, we actually cannot overkill these guys since they have damage cap. So, there's nothing to, nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. That might be good enough. I think that's good enough. I'll take a, I'll take a shrivel of two. We're probably, whoa. We're probably not going to make it back there anyway. Again, gems are not that important to us right now. I'm tempted to take the attack multiplier, but I don't think it's really what we... I don't think it's what we're needing right now. This is actually an amazing roll, because we can pierce that, pierce that, pierce that. Yes, we don't get a ton of chests, but let me tell you, we are going to five-star this. Like, I am not sitting here wondering if we're going to get five-star. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> I am not wondering that for a second. Let's just keep our money. I want to six blast him, but I feel like this is probably a better way of going for now. We don't have any gem, red gems. That, that sucked. I actually, I really did hate that, but. We've got the tools here. Ow. Okay. We'll see what we can do next turn for opening up chests. Uh, we don't have any red gems, so like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the, oh god, why am I doing that? I'm just gonna go for the heal. All right, that's good. That's good enough. Opening up one of the chests works for me. That works for me. We have 18 gold. We opened up like a butt ton of chests, uh, and there we go. We got the, the 931. Manatonic unlocked. As mentioned, like I, I, I'm not sitting here. And I'm like, oh, the chest is not good. Like the the chest plate's not good. I know it's good. The rug I think is not as good as the chest plate is for just like pure raw score. But the thing is, it it opens up more um more score opportunity. But obviously, it makes you balance something, and like it it just adds an additional layer onto that risk reward score factor. So, like, we will use it in ones where we... I feel like I want a five-star... It's it's like a weird balance of when you pull pull it out. It's like, it's like when you want a five-star and you think you're going to stomp it. You know? It, it's, that's kind of when you use the chest plate. Because you get a bunch of extra money. You get the extra gems and everything. Um, it did put us at our new high score. So, like, I, I'm not sitting here saying, like, it's bad. It's not. It's not that it's bad. Uh, where to go? Sunken ghost ship, Noxi Noxious Marsh. Uh, what was your deal? Okay, we would get diseased. I don't have a great way to handle that. We could bring in... One temporal gold whenever you roll a debuff face. It's alright. It's alright. With the- with this. We could deal with it. We could obviously try and rock the capture. Um, start with a wild gem. Gain a wild gem at the end of every wave. That's good. Why not? Why the heck not? I like that one. But let's uh, let's do... I feel like we haven't done this one a ton. So, alright. For right away, we need waves... Or, or we need the ability to kill quickly... I think we start with enough gems. No, we don't start with enough gems for two icicles. We have one icicle. 
Let's bring in the wild gem one. That sounds pretty good. I actually think Witch's Knife is really good to have here for that. Uh, where is it? For the ghost rats. I, th I think it is really helpful. Uh, other than that, what do we got? What do we want? What do we got? What do we want? Adventuring kit could work, I guess. Tome of Wisdom sounds like a really good call. All right. But also... Let's, let's, let's go for that. Let's try out this unique special pet here. We roll a red on this die. What would I want to replace? Obviously, we can kill. Like, <laughs> obviously, we can kill. What's your capture? One health when an enemy is defeated. I, it's not a great capture for us. Chance to gain. I. You know what? Yeah. Let's maybe. Let's maybe try and capture that guy, on the second die. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Bye bye. Uh, no, we could kill, we could pierce. Don't know why I'm looking for that capture right now. Should we try and fish out more? What is this? We got gain two. Do we have a white gem? No, we don't. We could try and fish for one because finesse is great. Two piercing damage to target and it <laughs> oh we got a typo enemy i like it though add one chain to a random die face i actually like that uh quite a bit was it two piercing damage obviously we could do it we could kill i'm gonna try and stall a little bit fish for a capture this now honed edge well, i guess we do have wilds add stun and life steal to target non-trapped eye face Ooh. probably that i guess right because it's most likely to oh We have to we have to score it, meaning we have to pick it. All right, now there we go. Prevents health gain. I'll take a damage or not. All right. Uh, it's pretty good life steal. Hmm. Maybe we could fire flourish and add a chain. Okay, it's not really where I wanted the chain. We're kind of we're kind of blitzing this one here, making a mockery of it. Uh, piercing and double piercing, piercing with a temporal gold and a double piercing is very nice. Let's try and get a little bit more money. So we have a 25% chance to gain a gold when somebody's captured here. Uh, if we do this, we can kill two, an icicle. I feel like that's going to have to just be good enough here. Because we need to kill this turn. Man, we, we really need to buy a, a, a good old thing for that die right there. All right. Uh... Oh, that's see that's the problem. I want something that can be added on. Uh 
How many good uses for Splash is there coming up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's good use for Splash. Sure. God, I need to replace that so bad, though. Okay, if we can get one money, which one money, which we can, then we can go for this here. We're gonna get petrified, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. Replaced. God, that's so good. That is so good. That's what honed edge. That is honed edge. Uh, if we get a couple wilds, that yikes, that is good enough. So that's a random attack. We unpetrify this. His thing is that he petrifies something like right away. That's like his thing. He petrifies two. He's got barrier. We could do like a little layup, like a fireball into piercing. We could actually kill. Wither. That guy needs to actually go though. That guy needs to go. We can't, we cannot let that wither stay. Oh my god, we got another fireball. That, whoa, boy, howdy. We did a big old wombo there. Mostly to get rid of that. Uh, oh my god. Just an absolute nightmare for these poor things. S stall for points. Ah, that's right. Ah, that's right. Slow it down, slow it down. Last turn. I mean, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> Fire Flourish, goodbye. Uh, do not spend money, it is just worth points. Again, good, nice and easy five star. That was pretty darn good. Book of Elements. You can store one additional gem of every type and start with Gem Rush. Huh. That's really good. That's really good. It's 23 minutes and we did two runs at five stars. We are shredding today. Uh... Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's go to the ancient tomb. We'll try a new one. Um, store additional gem. Start with gem rush. That plus manatonic. Like those things just right in and of themselves is pretty good. Only three charges though. We could get Tomb of Wisdom is probably better now than normal. I, I feel like it's kind of important. It should be versatile enough. What is this? Cursed 1, Cursing Attack 1. Cursing Attack adds 1 curse to a random die face when dealing damage, when dealing damage to you. That die deals 1 damage to you when it is rolled. Forever. But it's also cursed. When captured, remove curse from all face faces on capturing die. Those faces... Gain cursing attack equal to the amount of curse removed. Whoa, baby. Well, then. I kind of want to just stall a little and get that money for that capture. Uh, if we do this in Gem Rush, we get enough money to do this. Oh, we, well, we're probably not going to be able to truly stall, but that's okay. And 
I mean, you're dead no matter what here. There's got to be another one of these coming up, right? Well, now I don't have any uh, choice unless I want to... Uh, two turns left. It's fine. All right. Yeah, I was going to say I'm pretty confident there's going to be another one. Gain a charge for each other ability whenever an enemy dies this turn. Gain, or, or we can get the gain red gems up to your maximum, which I think is a good idea. Gains one attack whenever you roll a curse face. Just get out of here. Like, just, just get out of here. Sixty percent. All right, there we go. It is. Yeah, that's right. It's only on that die phase. It's not. It's not even that great. Like it's. It's not bad. But I don't think I should have been like. I, I definitely don't think I should have been like building around it. Uh, at the very least. We could gem rush, fireball, blood ritual, fireball. Or wait. Oh, no, we didn't get the... We, we picked blood ritual instead of the one where we get... Uh, so we don't need a gem rush. We could... Takes one piercing damage for each health you gain. Man, I'm I'm really I'm really using these here fireballs, that's for sure. Okay. It's good enough. Four out of four for the wild gems here. So what do we got? We got barrier. Just a three two with barrier. Not shield, barrier. So it's workable. Uh I don't have any ability to capture these. What do we have? Glimpse of the future. There's a world where we could uh, we could solve this. Ooh. When kept, this face splits into three melee attacks: one with stun, one with life steal, one with gold steal. Legendaries cannot be modified. I mean, yeah, we're we're obviously gonna we're gonna go for that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Not super likely to replace that there. So that's exciting. We got a legendary, legendary. Oh my god! I can't believe that actually. I can't believe that worked. I I had the vision of that being what I got, like. I, I can't believe that actually worked, though. That's crazy. What the heck? Gain red gems up to max. I mean, like, we don't... Why would we do that? Oh, because, I mean, we could gem rush to do six damage for one wild... The, the cost of one wild gem. Defeat or use a key to open. Treasure Chamber Gate. Hmm. I could capture something else. Fifty percent chance to gain one gold when scoring a curse deal one piercing damage to a random enemy when you score hearts on this die I don't have any hearts on that die so this is literally just like for killing but those effects don't really matter so I don't know Mostly because I don't want to take damage. I don't want to take the curse. Alright. Uh, four turns left. These guys just do one damage. They don't have... 
anything I really need to be worried about. That guy's dead. Yeah, I'm kind of just, like, fine with taking this damage. So what is this? Cursed treasure. Uncapturable. Cursing attack one. Oof. 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 That's exactly what I want. Ooh! Okay, so we can... It's done. Let's keep the other two. Actually, I don't know why I'm bothering. Ow! I can't, I can't believe we did that in one turn. Look at all this money we have. Wow. Okay. Uh, I would like the... This. For sure. We don't need any gems, red gems anymore, really. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just try and get this to be the glove die, basically. All right. Four turns left. Okay. Uh, we can do six damage pierce. Gains one attack whenever you roll a curse phase. Regenerate two. Heals two health at the end of turn. Oof. I think we can do better, actually. Ooh, uh-oh. Well, I stand by the fact that I do think we can do better. But, oops. Okay, so... I can't... Yeah, I can't... I mean, I could... I probably should have glimpsed... I, I probably should have done glimpse there, but I'm not super excited about anything that's over there either. Is the thing. Cursing attack. Just get out of here. It's fine. I don't know. Spend it all. Spend it all. Could blood ritual to get one red gem, basically, which seems a little unwise. All right, boss, please, please just be easy. Attack withers. Wait. Wither three. Attack withers gets plus one attack. Heart withers heals one. Who withers an attack? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. I don't need these red gems. I need, like, I need my piercing glove is what I need. I need my super glove. Nope. It's just going to have to be good enough. Ow! Oh, that's brutal! Whoa! Oh, my God, that sucks. heals you instead of damage. I mean, that's pretty cool. I want my special glove. Not super excited, but I'm, again, I'm not super excited about what's over for sale either. Okay, that that works for me. It's good enough. Because a stun right now... Well, first of all, we kill. We just kill. Never mind. Never mind. We actually just kill. Just kidding. Oh.
Wow. We did it. Five star. Elementalist. Elementalist. Mult. Mult. Multimatan. Multimatan? Multivitamin. Oh, the. T the <laughs> The, the font made it look like Maltmatan. Maltmatamin. Maltmitamin. I should have assumed. If you have three or more debuffed. Ooh, 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 ooh. These seem cool and situationally already. If three or more debuffed, Petroid Disease, Frozen, Curse, Die Face is the end of wave. Remove one random debuff and add a random symbol to that face. That is really cool. We could. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, there's some fun, there's some fun to be had for that. I could see that being used as a fun, uh, a fun counter pick. But you know what? You know what we're doing. We're 36 minutes. Uh, as foreshadowed, we are gonna go back to the uh, to the bandit raid. We're gonna see if we can get that finished up there. There's no point in doing the debuff situation because we're not gonna get any. Uh, I guess we'll just bring the chest plate. Sure. Yep. Ooh, boy. We could fireball him. That could be fun. Get here. Just do perpetual fireball action. We need something that's going to do two damage. We need a more reliable way to do two damage. And I don't, I don't want to just waste fireballs for the sake of getting the chests. All right, where's the two damage boppers? Three turns left. Should I just keep on taking damage? What could go wrong? Double piercing sun attack magic. That, I like this. I like this. It's overwhelming, but I like it. Gain two of each basic gem for the cost of two gold. Gain charge for every other ability when an enemy dies this turn. Let's go with the reverse alchemy. That sounds kind of nice. I hate what I've done. All right, let's finish that. Finish the fight. Last turn. Come on, we can do this. Just farming that score. Farming that score. I mean, should we just icicle it? Yin. Oh, we got yin and yang. Interesting. <laughs> what am I doing? Trade more money for it. What am I doing, man? Fireball it. This is so. This is the dumbest way I've ever done this one. Uh, so it is daytime, so we do have Yang. Uh, there's really no reason not to just do that, pretty much, uh, to get our Yin charges back. We have Unholy Ritual now. Sacrifice captured enemy and target die gain golden experience equal to twice the attack. Uh, I would like to get that. 70! Nice. Oh, man. I'm playing weirdo fast and loose here. Oh, this actually would have been really good to have with that guy, but we're almost... I mean, I we're three out of six, but we're almost done with this already, I would say. Like, truthfully. Uh... More ways to do two damage sounds good. I should have added that over there too. It's not nighttime. Dum 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 bargain. Oh my god, we're running out of. What happens when you get all of them filled up? What happens then? Okay. 
Alright, we could do yin if we need to. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I like the idea of keeping that. Um, we can even reverse alchemy to just supercharge. Oh, it supercharges both of them! I'm with it. I'm with it. Setting up for Yang. Or Yin. Is it night? It's night. Alright, we'll take this then. Yin. Uh, okay. Could we... How much money do we get? Seven. We, we, we actually ran out of reverse alchemy. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna freeze him so that he doesn't attack himself. That's actually genuinely what I'm going for there. Just do what we can. Oh, wait. Don't kill yourself. Okay, good. Oof. I don't have any way to do two damage right now. Now I do. It's, it is daytime. If we do yin, we might be able to go for it. Nope. Not going to be able to get it. This is going to be... This is the one. This is the one we can't get. All right. Uh, it's daytime. Blast it! Blast it! We are we're running like a little bit low on health. Obviously, we're playing incredibly fast and <laughs> fast and wild here, like on purpose. We're taking so much damage. Totally knowingly. All right. Good stuff. Blast it. Blast it. Blast it. All right. 21 gold. Should we take more damage? Is there a way? Can, can we heal anyway? Uh, Yang, I guess. Which pretty much has to be a wild gem right now. Okay. Beans. Or I just didn't need to overkill. Boop. There's only so many points you can get on this one. Like, I mean, I know that's kind of like the thing across the board, but... There's not, you know, there's not a ton that you have access to. Ten damage. We gotta be careful. We could die really easily here. We could die really easily here. <laughs> uh Okay. We we we're alive. All right. <laughs> uh, what would we, what would we even do with these blue ones? I don't freaking know. But if we if we just guarantee this guy dies, then we're gonna be okay, right? And that guy hit himself, so we're like we're more we're more than fine. Um, can't fireball. We could get Yang, which is actually more than enough for me right now. That could make him overkill himself. Nope. Just trying to farm. Eh. Let's 
let's call it there. I feel like I feel like we did relatively well there. 777. Obviously, it's not higher than that uh, the one from later, but when you compare that to the other ones from here, 777 is pretty darn good. Because, uh, like, obviously you get points for the majority of... Or I think the majority of your points come from, like, killing enemies, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, that slaps us at 30, so I guess there's no unlock for 30 stars. Nope, it is 20. It is at 20. And then you also get the stars for hard mode when we cross that bridge. Also beating certain scenarios. Beat 10 scenarios. So doing a new zone. Every time we beat one new zone, we are going to get uh, a new one there. So wait. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we don't get one for the crystal nexus, I guess? 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. And then there's three artifacts that you get, three relics that you get for specifically going for the hard mode stuff. Okay, when we get to that, when we cross that bridge, we, uh, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're, today we, we five-starred the bandit raid, the infested sewers... The ghost ship. And the ancient tomb, which we had not done before. So, hey, that is a productive day. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. Make sure to pick this game up for yourself. It is a pay-what-you-want model on itch.io. Click the link at the top of the description. Go over there. You have a couple different ways of going about it. You can play it for free and then pay what you want uh, when you have the ability to, to do so. Or you want to help support the development of it. Or you can just pay it right up front. Uh, you know, buy, basically buy the game outright. Same same sort of way as just any other game purchase. Just anything you can do to help support this game because it is super good. I mean, you know, you've watched this video. Thank you for watching, though. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Subscribe!